Okay. You guys ready? All right. Offensive tackle, Jordan Williams. We'll go ahead and open it right up for questions for Jordan. He's got the microphone. Rod, go ahead. We, we talked to, to uh, Coach Long about, you know, all the different combinations you've tried on the offensive line. What do you see the chemistry like now as you're, you know, getting closer to the game? Uh, one thing about, like, rotating the O-line a lot, we're trying, we trying to make sure we're comfortable playing with anybody next to us, you know, just in case a man goes down, you know, somebody can pop right in, somebody can flip to the other side if they need to. So... It's, it's been good working with working just with different groups uh, all the time. So, yeah. You've been back playing more right tackle. Um, do you still expect to play some left? Is that something that's part of the plan going into the season? Or are you going to focus more on right now again? Uh, yeah, that, that's been the plan. I've um, I still I still be working left. You know, if anything if anything happens, I can I can pop in there instantly. I did I actually did it today. I just hopped over there instantly. And it, it still feels good, and um, so I think I think I've gotten to the point where I'm comfortable at both sides. Okay. Um, I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about uh, Corey, and just kind of personality-wise, what's he like, but also just kind of what you've seen him in on, on the field. Uh, his personality, his personality, he's just like us. But um, I'm gonna give you all a little inside scoop. We <laughs> we can't trust Corey too much. He don't he don't like a lot of things. He don't. For one, like he don't like cheese. Like who doesn't like cheese? <laughs> he don't. He, he don't like cartoons. I don't. I don't know who don't like cartoons. Like he. He don't like Cartoon Network. I. I thought that was weird. But um, on the field, on the field, hey man, on the field, I respect him though. I respect him on the field because he. Um, he. He be out there doing his thing. I. I actually didn't even know that he was like a grade a year below me. So, um, just being out, being out there and everything, as young as he is, like him and Jakaya. Like him and Jakaya gonna be real good down the road, like super good. I'm Kelly. Um, just you know, you guys, you've had a lot of different guys working next to you because you've worked both tackles and, and different guard combinations. What are you seeing from that group, and and just kind of developing some chemistry with the guards? Like the guards? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So like playing with like Pierce, Paula, Paul. Um. It's all it, it, Joe. My boy Joe can't live out Joe. Joe Fusel, y'all need, need to get him up here. He a dog. He a dog. But um, work, working out with them, it's always good, especially especially now that um, everybody everybody's like everybody's settled in with like what we doing now. The plays we running, everybody know what to do. Um, so it's that de it's definitely been good playing with all the different guards out there. Go ahead, Rob. You know, coming out of the spring, yep. Yeah, uh, there were, everybody naturally was looking at the, the center position because he, to be, you'd have a new guy there. Uh, it, it seems like nobody's talking about Weston, but I guess that's a good thing because he, he must be getting the job done. Oh, yeah, that, that's definitely a good thing. Because Weston, Weston, man, he done, he done took his game to a whole nother level. I'm going to be completely honest. He, um, j just from the spring to fall count, he definitely looks like 10 times better. I don't know if y'all looking at him for real. He done slimmed up a little bit. He out there moving. So... Hey, shout out Weston, man. Shout out Weston. Ken? I need to ask you about your NIL deal and kind of how that came about and, and what uh, what the benefits are from, from that. Um, so actually, I actually didn't even hear about it until Pierce, Pierce came up to me and uh, asked me if I wanted to do it too. So when I heard about it, I was like, I was like oh, yeah, I'm all in. Especially, um, and then like when we went up there, for the little photo shoot and stuff, when um, they let they let us try a lot of things on the menu. <laughs> so, so like we we were trying like all the wings, we we're trying like all the burgers, all the sandwiches, and I was like, this might be the best day of my life. That's like, that's honestly <laughs> what I was thinking. Like it, it was so much food and it, all of it was good, so I I can't wait to get that deal started. Oh, uh, so it it like it starts in September, and like they're they're allowing us like going there, and they're giving us like a certain amount of like store credit we could use and stuff, like after after we um do our part in the NIL deal, so that that's definitely a good thing, and we we all we're all very happy for that. Anything else for Jordan? 
Appreciate it. Sure. Appreciate it. All right. You guys ready? All right. Go ahead and uh, start with linebacker Charlie Thomas. Uh, as I think some of you maybe know, uh, Charlie was named to the official watch list for the 2023 Senior Bowl today. So go ahead and start with questions. Rod? <laughs> Charlie, uh, Coach Thacker was talking about above the line maybe taking a different approach to it this year and, uh, you know, maybe playing some of the guys that, you know, have experience playing them longer and, and getting more reps. And he mentioned your group. Is that something that uh, that you're looking forward to? Um, yes, sir. That's something I'm looking forward to. With this being my last season, I really don't want to come off the field. Until, like, I don't want to come off the field at all. So with more reps and stuff like that, I do more and more conditioning after practice. I don't just want. I don't want to come off the field. I want to be in best shape possible. Kelly, um, for talking to the coaches and some of your teammates, um, you guys have you have a deeper room now, at linebacker, so you're able to do some things and have Sam linebacker. So you've, uh, I think it was Thacker was saying you play can play both or Coach Seymour. Mm -hmm. Just what is that like making that transition from from Will to Sam, and, and what's your comfort level when you guys go into the sub packages? <laughs> Um, with, with me playing like more of an overhang role last year, I mean it's it's kind of the same as last year, but you know little different tweaks and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm, I feel comfortable out there and just I'm a space player. Like I, I like being able to do different things. So yeah, I feel comfortable. Sarah. Hey, this preseason and in camp, what's the biggest things you guys have been focusing on as a unit, and where do you feel like you guys have taken the biggest strides? Um, two biggest things we've been working on is really like communication, um, pre-snap, post-snap, whatever it may be, and then also just being staying together no matter what. Like stuff gonna happen, but we just gotta be together and keep playing for each other. Only two biggest things really. Did you make any particular strength gains, or, or in terms of explosiveness, or weight, or, or you know bench and all that? This, this Sitting, did you make any particular strength gains in terms of like? You know your your max or, or number. Of I mean, we're, we're really max no more. So, I mean, I can say, I, yeah, I can say that I've just been putting more pressure on myself just to work out heavier, eat more, all that. What I need to do. Obviously, you're wearing the quick lane bowl shirt. Um, <laughs> you guys, you know, you've, that was sort of last the last bowl trip and stuff. You being a senior now. Is that something you harp on your teammates on? Like you guys have had three tough seasons. Let's turn this around and and kind of get back in our winning ways. And is that something you take as a leader on the defense as well, kind of teaching these guys? Um, one thing we teach, well, we we harp on this program is we're not result oriented. We 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 work on we go up, give our hardest, we do our best, and whatever happens happens. So like I say, we we won't win. Everybody wants to win. Nobody wants to lose. But for the most part. Like I said, we just want to stay together and play our hardest for each other no matter what, what happens on the field. We're going to leave it all out there this year. And that's and as long as we do that, I know we're going to feel good at the end of the day. The, the defensive line has been taking sort of baby steps each year. It's, it seems like maybe this, is, this year is a chance for them to make a, a bigger jump. You know, what are you seeing from those guys up front? Those guys really put the work in every day. Every day we come out here, we try to push each other. Like some days you're not going to be out here, but I know one thing. Them boys right there, they gonna work every day, no matter what. So I got faith in them boys to do whatever it may be. About the the senior bowl thing, kind of what are your like? What does that mean to you? And what are your aspirations for for the NFL? Oh yeah, um, I definitely want to go to the NFL. So yeah, with me being in this program, they taught me a lot how to be a pro already. I feel like so I feel like I'm being prepared enough to. To, to be able to make that transition and play solid years in the league. That's my goal. That's my dream. You've started maybe five different positions on the defense during your career. Do you make the pitch for corner or defensive tackle this year? I mean, I think those are the only two spots left you haven't played it. But no, seriously, like, do you feel like that's the thing that will help you to like get to the next level too, showing that position flexibility you've shown throughout your career playing you know, everything from defensive end to safety? Yeah, um, I really do. I really feel like that's going to put me in the best position possible. Like, I feel like it's going to give me more opportunities than, than, than most, I, I would say. Rob? Coach Watson's been bringing in a lot of pro scouts to, to watch, uh, you know, you guys in camp and evaluate. Are, are you guys aware of that, and, and does that motivate you guys? Um, we're aware. 
it motivates. But if they're there, we're gonna be the same. We're gonna be the same ourselves. So it really doesn't. I I, I don't, I'm not sure. Like I feel like it doesn't matter if they're there or not. We're gonna go hard. We're gonna play the same intensity. Like that's the that's the goal. So it it does it. It's, in my head, in the back of my head, I see them there. I, I notice them there. I want to go hard for them, but I want to go hard for my team also. It's not about them. It's about us. Anything else? Kelly, and then kind of wrap this up. Can you talk about getting the number one and just uh, like how that all went down? Um, With me getting number one, it's a dream come true, to be honest. Like In high school, I wanted one my senior year, but it was kind of like I was been two for so long. It was like stay with two, but like, it's, that is definitely a dream come true. Every time I come in the weight room, I mean locker room, and I see that number one on my locker, I put that jersey on. I know one thing that for sure I can't slack. Like I can't be no, I got to go every day. So that, that definitely motiv motivates me and makes me go hard, made me think about stuff differently. It, yeah, <laughs> it feels good. Okay. I can ask you about Jeff Sims and kind of when you go 11 on 11, what have you noticed just maybe how he's progressed from last year? He's progressed. He's 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 one person, another person that just comes in and work every day. I I can see like he's getting better. He's getting better and better. He's gonna shock. He's gonna shock a lot of people this year. I like Tim. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks oh, yeah. so much,